You may not have memorized actor Dacre Montgomery's name yet, but I'm sure you're well familiar with his face. The Australian actor came into our lives in season two of Stranger Things as the attractive but scary stepbrother Billy. And while he may only make a small appearance in season four of the show, Dacre is working on other projects as we speak. Not only did he just appear in the Elvis biopic alongside Austin Butler and Tom Hanks, but he's just kicking off his Hollywood career by the looks of it. So if there's more you want to know about Dacre Montgomery, aside from how to properly pronounce his name, which I'm still having trouble with, then stay tuned because we'll be covering this actor's life, rise to fame and more here for you on Famous Life. Dacre Cade Montgomery Harvey was born on November 22, 1994 in Perth, Western Australia to Canadian mom, Judith Barrett Leonard and father from New Zealand, Scott Montgomery Harvey. He has a younger sister, Saskia, who is over a decade younger than him and Dacre spoke about this in the past, saying, It sounds super cliche, but my sister is 12 years younger than me. And I remember when I was there holding her in my arms for the first time, and that's kind of responsibility you feel when you hold a child in your arms. Dacre's parents worked in the film industry in Australia, which certainly had some influence on his own love and calling to work as an actor, as he also spent many hours on film sets as a child. However, his mom and dad's jobs were behind the scenes. He explained, My parents worked in the film industry, but they both worked behind the camera, so I like to think that I have a really good understanding of how all the parts of the puzzle come together to make a film or TV show. When Dacre was nine years old, he began to perform on screen and in the theater, so he started quite young. However, when it came to his other experiences in school as a child, he had admitted in the past that he didn't have any friends, didn't play sports, and that he was bullied. In fact, Dacre based some of his performance playing Billy on Stranger Things on his personal experiences from being bullied. Dacre went to Mount Lawley Senior High School in his hometown, and when he reached year 12, classmates voted for him as the most likely student to become a Hollywood star in the yearbook. Well, they weren't wrong. Dacre continued his studies in dramatic arts throughout secondary school. He was accepted into the Western Australian Academy of Performing Arts at Edith Cowan University in 2015 and completed his acting degree here. But it wasn't always easy for the aspiring star. In a post on Instagram, Dacre expressed that he was a lost kid and had a hard time in school because he began suffering from anxiety at a young age. He was bullied, as previously mentioned, because of his weight, and he says he was a lot heavier growing up. Furthermore, he even failed his drama exams in high school, which you might not expect. At the age of 18, Dacre was fired from his job at the time and told to leave drama school. However, he didn't give up despite those hurdles. He said, I have so much drive and passion for this industry and the creative arts, and I want other kids to have that kind of drive and to have a fire in their belly for whatever industry they want to get into. Dacre spent most of his youth acting in whatever small parts he could get throughout Australia, but it took him a while before he moved into TV and movies. His first on-screen role was when he appeared in the short Bertrand Terrible as Fred in 2010, and then a year later in 2011, this was followed by an appearance in the pilot for a TV show that never made it, titled Family Tree. He went off the radar for the next few years, returning to his university commitments. Once he graduated in 2015, he returned to full-fledged auditioning. In 2015, Dacre appeared in a music video by Australian group Make Them Suffer in a song called Old Souls. He did some more music video appearances a bit later, and you can catch him in the video for the song Chateau by Australian music duo Angus and Julia Stone. Also in 2015, Dicker was in the short film Godot's Clinic, and the next couple of years, he was also in two independent films, Safe Neighborhood and A Few Less Men, which was the sequel to the Australian comedy A Few Best Men. The year 2017 brought some major projects for Dacre. He landed one of the lead roles in the film remake of the hit kids show Power Rangers. He starred as Jason Scott, also known as the Red Ranger and leader of the Power Rangers, and for his performance, he was nominated for a Teen Choice Award. Also in 2017, Dacre landed what was probably his most notable role thus far, when he joined the cast of the hit Netflix series Stranger Things for season two as Billy Hargrove. But how did he score the role? Apparently it all had to do with the audition tape of all audition tapes that included some killer dance moves and nailing a difficult scene. As you know, Dacre made a strong impression with his portrayal of Billy and Stranger Things, the trouble and at times abusive older stepbrother of Max. Dacre pulls off the scary older kid role very well, and it makes sense then that for his audition tape, 
He reenacted the climactic scene from the 1986 film Stand By Me, where the older bully in this movie played by Kiefer Sutherland corners the main characters. Well, for Dacre's audition tape, he channeled this perfectly with his tone, timing, and much more. So the Duffer brothers knew right then they had found their Billy for the show. Not to mention his crazy audition tape included a brief shot of himself shirtless dancing to the 1982 hit Come On Eileen. Dacre also did a lot of research in order to portray Billy well, especially when he returned in season three as a different persona altogether. He said, For Flayed Billy, I did a lot of research on bipolar disorder and split personalities and how one personality controls the other personalities. In season three, Billy is like a rubber band that keeps getting tauter and I tried to convey that in my physicality. But if you look at my eyes, that's non-flayed Billy trying to come through. The whole season, I felt my eyes were bleeding because I was trying to push out this emotion to play as a counter to my physicality. I wanted to treat it more like a real world experience. Dacre's skills definitely made Billy a memorable character, but sadly, he met his end after season three. Despite that, Billy returned for a guest role in season four as well. Dacre, along with the cast of Stranger Things, was nominated for a Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by an Ensemble in a Drama Series. In 2019, Dacre started a new hobby and released his own podcast titled DKMH, which features his own poetry. In the description of his podcast, it says that he spent two years compiling his own poetry and getting wonderfully talented musicians to help him bring it to life. In 2020, you probably also saw Dacre star in the movie Broken Hearts Gallery with a leading role as Nick. This rom-com was executive produced by none other than Selena Gomez, and it followed a 20-something woman in New York City who gets dumped by her latest boyfriend and then creates an art gallery to display items from people's previous relationships. More recently, Dacre appears on the big screen in what must be the most A-list movie he's been in yet. The actor was recently in the Boz Lerman biopic Elvis as Steve Binder, a producer known for his work on Elvis's famous 68 comeback special. While it wasn't a main character role per se, it was definitely an important one and got Dacre's work on screen noticed once again. Elvis also wasn't the first time Dacre had worked with the leading lady who played Priscilla Presley, Olivia de Jong. The two both appeared in the Christmas theme thriller Better Watch Out back in 2016, however this movie didn't receive rave reviews. While we don't know about Dacre Montgomery's upcoming projects yet, it seems like it's only just the beginning for this versatile young actor. Thanks for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to Famous Life and leave a comment for who you'd like us to feature next.